first year classification. I will be second year chief this year. We're going to Ireland, so I need to be on that plane. Awesome. Well, we're going to have to search your luggage, um, but we'll pull you aside to another room for more questions. Perfect. Thank you. Right this way, sir. Sounds great. And you can just leave your bags right there. Oh, okay. So, is this trip the reason you're all dressed up? Or do the chief boys have you looking this nice? Well, although we have a high standard for our uniforms, I'm dressed up because I'm applying for the Marching Chief's leadership team. Oh, cool. What position? Ideally, section leader, assistant section leader, or role leader for the legendary Royal Flush. I feel as though I bring a high amount of positive energy, a new level of integrity and accountability, and I would continue to uphold the standard of connectivity within the section. Oh, okay. Here's a minute of tea. I just have to search really quick. Oops. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Uh, what is this? Oh, that? It's my list of strengths. Oh, tell me about those. Well, aside from keeping myself out of trouble on and off the field, I take initiative, often helping before I'm asked to do something. Also, I maintain a positive attitude and encourage those around me. Because Chiefs is like a community, it's important to lead by example and encourage those around me. Because it is important to demonstrate that even though I'm in a role of leadership, they have equal importance within the organization. I believe we are only as strong as the weakest member, which clearly isn't me. Oh, wow. Well, um, I'm still searching you, so if you could go back to your seat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me guess. Weaknesses? <laughs> yeah. Oh, tell me about those. Well, although it's a short list, I tend to be reserved when initially taking a role of leadership. This is because I don't want to overstep, make the wrong move, or seem arrogant. Often, though, with the right amount of familiarity and training, this issue fades pretty quickly. Okay, sir, let's take a seat. Was there anyone that you got these good qualities from in the past season? Someone I looked up to this past Marching Chief season was Matthew Morahone and Mark Stevens. They demonstrated their dedication even before preseason when I came for tours and audition days. I will never forget how at home they made me feel, regardless of my status as an FSU student. They always will be a shining example as I got to witness how they led throughout the season with understanding and keeping a balance between fun and hard work. All right, well, one more question, then I'll have you on your way. You mentioned how you want to be section leader of the Royal Flush. Is there anything you'd like to improve upon or anything you'd like to keep? Oh yeah, I think one of the things I would change would be our concept of skull session. I feel as though there's a huge recruitment opportunity for the different sections, many of which capitalize on this opportunity well. I think the Royal Flush can uphold the traditions with simple fun marches while nailing down the fun pop tunes we play in between. This might require sectionals that are more focused, but would leave a lasting impression on the audience and help sections have a more unified sound. This past year, we did extraordinarily well connecting outside of Chiefs. I feel as though the rookie class was incorporated very quickly into the family that Chiefs is. I want to make sure this continues going forward because it is what grabbed my respect and developed my dedication. Well, that's all the questions I have for you. Okay. Let's get you off your way. Your luggage was all clear, even the tuba, so have a safe trip. Sounds great. Thank you, and go Nolts.